Okay, so we go with uh, Thursday's uh, Frontier Opening Bell edition with me, Boston Amafaye. Thank you, everyone, for making the time to watch the show this Thursday. Uh, look through the uh, African uh, Equities uh, Trading Day, the South African market, after a very strong, about 2.5% uh, rally on uh, Wednesday, on Tuesday, uh, I bucked that trend on, uh, on, on Wednesday, uh, as we saw uh, a major decline of about 2% in the resources and a few of the other key uh, indices. The Nairobi uh, stock market went up by nearly almost 1%. Egyptian market was down by 0.74. We saw about 80 million US dollars in total transactions for the Egyptian market. Morocco uh, was a bit fly, uh, positive, very few notches. Tunisian market was also down alongside the Egyptian market. In West Africa, the BRVM slumped by 14 basis points. Nigerian uh, stock market, the all share index went up. The NGX almost 1%. As we saw, the shares of MTN Nigeria jumped very massively, well above its current IPO price of 169, finished year 174.50 on the counter yesterday. We also saw uptick on the shares of uh, Seplat as well as the some of the big banks such as uh, Jitco and Zenit Bank. Okay, let's uh, look into the East African market as we always start from the, the East Coast, looking at the UNCTAD latest report that the global import price levels is now rising about 11% and consumer price uh, in indices also rising about 1.5%. That is the outlook on from the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development called UNCTAD between now and 2025. Everyone keep this in mind, what to expect in terms of inflation in and trend. The Kenyan authorities have passed uh, an amendment to the law that sets up the Central Bank of Kenya. We'll have a more robust conversation on this uh, in the next few days. And the POC of uh, Kenya, uh, Managing Director, is uh, joining the South Africa gas maker, Afrox, after he exits the Kenyan gas company by December the 31st. It's going to be a new year for him in South Africa. In the meantime, Tanzania sold uh, 127 billion shillings of uh, 10.08 uh, Government bonds maturing year 2028. For the month of November, Mauritius reporting is gross reserves, FX reserves of about 7.76 million billion US dollars. That's quite hefty, uh, considering the impact of uh, COVID-19 and how this uh, con uh, island on the Indian Ocean is moving ahead uh, on the on the economy, uh, tourism, leisure, hospitality. That is a main focus for the uh, for the country, and of course, a major financial uh, gateway. Meantime, in West Africa, most of the uh, more than 10 million vaccines that Nigeria had received had been dis, uh, dispensed of, that is, uh, used to vaccinate Nigerians. And the health ministry yesterday issued a statement confirming that Nigeria has been able to save about 40 million US dollars, roughly 16 billion local currency, uh, that because of the donations of some of the uh, virus vaccines by various organizations and governments from Europe and the Western Hemisphere. And that is putting pay to some speculation. But the agency, the health ministry, confirmed that the expired vac uh, vaccines would be, have been withdrawn uh, and will be destroyed by the agency responsible for food, drugs, administration and control called NAFTAC. Nigeria's 197 million US dollars 5G mock auction by the NCC, that's the telco regulator, will take place tomorrow, Friday. The real auction will take place on December the 13th, that's next week. The rollout of the 5G spectrum is expected in 2022. The main bidders who have been qualified by the regulator includes MTA Nigeria, ATL Africa, and uh, one other communications uh, a company uh, also uh, bidding. You have the debt management office this week offering about 100 billion naira in, in two reopened papers, 2026 and 2037 uh, in bonds. We expect uh, our subscription to be much higher than the 100 billion naira that uh, the debt office is putting on the table. The uh, Tema oil refinery is based uh, around Community 7 in uh, Accra, the uh, capital of Ghana. That refinery is expected to resume operations uh, next June, according to latest information. And the central bank within the Central African region, the BDEAC, says it's raised uh, about uh, 115 billion CFA franc in bond loan. Uh, over the last period for the CEMAC countries, which include Cameroon uh, as well as the DR Congo. 
Okay, let's uh, get a uh, uh, step into the Southern African market. The business confidence uh, softens to 92.8 reading in November from 94.9 with the latest Omicron uh, variant uh, of the uh, pandemic virus. Is anyone's guess what the figure will look like in the month of December? But this is just uh, uh, coming just a day after the uh, South Africa's GDP uh, report, uh, data came in at a contraction of 1.5% slightly bigger than 1.2 percent are expected by economists. Uh, South Africa's petrol retailer uh, 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 rates and affin say they are listing on the GSC's alternative exchange on December the 9th. And of course, you have the RAND budget investment services says uh, shares went up 9 percent because of the 8.7 billion RAND profit from the sale of the insurance unit uh, Hurstings in the United Kingdom. An Econet of Zimbabwe's uh, shareholders will get a gross dividend of uh, $1.5 billion dividend payout for the half year 2021. And finally, within the Southern African space, the Central Bank of Namibia says the local economy is expected to grow 1.5% this year and a much bigger 3.3% in the year 2022, which we're stepping into in the next couple of days. Okay, let's uh, wrap up with North Africa. The uh, Egyptian authorities uh, 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 must be basking in the latest news from the IMF that Egypt will become the second largest economy in, in Africa and uh, in, uh, in, in, in the Arabian commu uh, community uh, by the year 2022. South Africa is currently the second largest economy in Africa after, South Af after Nigeria, now uh, from all indications, it looks like Egypt has displaced South Africa as the second largest economy on the continent and the most industrialized economy. It's been a nail-biting period for South Africa, which uh, had always hold the position as the number one economy, the most industrialized and advanced economy on the continent. And it looks like that is now gone to North Africa and Egypt is holding that position. In the meantime, the Egypt is targeting primary surplus of 1.4% on its fiscal uh, paper of the, uh, the GDP for the full year 2021 and 2022. Export Development Bank of Egypt, the board of directors have said yes to a plan to raise the capital base of the development uh, finance uh, bank but to, by to uh, 5.27 billion uh, Shilly, uh, Egyptian pounds, I beg your pardon. And Morocco's manager is uh, issuing 1.5 billion dirhams in bond loan by the end of this month. That will be its final market offering for the year 2022. And of course, Tunisia says it's got two European grants of about 78 million dirhams from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, uh, simply known as the EBRD. And that's it for today on Frontier Opening Bell. I am Bosin Mafayo. We thank you for watching. Go online and watch all our other sh shows. Go to www.frontierafricareports to read some of our news and watch our videos, including special reports, as well as our YouTube as well, Frontier Africa Reports. And you can find us on LinkedIn and other social media platforms, including Instagram. I am, I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.